Stars, welcome to another wonderful episode of Brendan Life. I hope you all are doing well. Today's a new day. Girl, you gotta be careful with your waxing. Mm -hmm. Mommy, you know, you don't really have to wax every day. You can just oh. wax twice a week. My hands are freaking itchy. Thank you. It's setting his. Your feet <laughs> dropped. See, he's right there. He's right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I knew you. I just want to. <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> So just oranges. carbs. No, I have food. Coco, what are you doing? Oh, spider. spider. Where? I see it too. Where? I'm right there. See that little thing that has sharp? Oh my goodness, what that? Let's go. What type of fruits do you have? Oranges. What's in your cocoa bread? Um, I couldn't find the turkey. So what's in your cocoa bread? That's butter. I couldn't find the other turkey. Turkey is still like. I was trying to find the other turkey. And I didn't see it. I looked in the top in the um middle cupboard, but I didn't see on the fridge on the side where we normally keep our turkey and cheese, but I didn't see it there. Dolores, my shepherd. I should yeah. I was gonna grab a turkey wrap, but you didn't have any cheese. So you can just put the turkey in there like that? I was trying to find the other turkey. Open your lunch bag and let's see. My muffin? Cocoa bread. Oranges and water and my whites. Everything I told you. You need to have protein in your bag. I was trying to find the turkey. I bought two things of turkey last night, so I understand how is it you're trying to find it. I don't like pepper turkey. All I know is that nobody from that school should call me and come talking about you don't have a, a balanced lunch. Just to let you know. And balance me. Because it would not be good for you. That's what I have to say. Like on the serious note. It's crazy that I don't have a balance. Oh, by the way, Mama, I accidentally switched out the water bottles. That's not the point. You're not listening once again. I need you to listen. Dude, I couldn't find the other turkey. I wanted to use the other turkey, but I could not find the other turkey. What do you mean you couldn't find it? It's I couldn't fridge. find the pepper turkey. I thought it was normally in our... In our um, I thought it finished because I thought it was in the um, what's it called? Where we normally keep our turkey. I looked there and it wasn't there. I'm and just, I would have had a balanced lunch if you had just bought cheese yesterday. If I would just bought cheese. Yes. You better tell God. I think you got something to eat today. And cheese is not good. Dairy is not good. D milk is dairy. Mom yes. Dairy. Plant. Eggs are dairy. Plant based no, eggs or protein, Kristen. Dairy. It's a new day, guys. I hope you all are doing well. I'm sorry. You'd rather be at school than here. Yes. Why? Because you keep on annoying me. How am I annoying you? I told you everything that was in my lunchbox. But no, you still had to see what was in my lunchbox. Yes, because I'm your mom and I have to make sure. I um, said exactly what was in there. Okay, I just I wanted to see it. There's nothing wrong with me seeing it, Christina. Let me just tell you something, right? 
the people at school do not love you as much as I love you. They, they don't love you, period. Always remember that. I'm your mom, and I just want the best for you. That's it. So you go ahead and you keep on having your attitude. There's no need for it. Because I surely do not have an attitude. I'm at this point in my life with my with this kid over here. Who me? No, not you. Oh. Christina. Always has an attitude, you know? Like there's no need for the attitude. No whatsoever. The bus is near our house. <laughs> no need for it. You're on the wrong app. She has to understand no, like as not. a as a it's parent, Christina. I'm just showing her that no. I love her and I and I care this for her. Be your mommy. Can I have my phone, please? Thank you. Perfect example. Yesterday, we um. The only reason why we went to the movie theater is because you know she asked me to go because she and her friends had plans and whatnot. Sure, you know. Go ahead. Let's go. You know. Um. We went there, bought her tickets and everything. Four four of her friends were sitting in a row, all right? There were a couple sitting three. next to... Okay, three, thank you, of her friends were sitting oh, right. in the row, okay? And then, and then Kaylee came along. Let me speak, along. please. And then Kaylee came along, so that was four. Right in front of us, okay? And um, I mentioned to my daughter, I said... Um, don't you want to go sit with your friends? There's a, um, the couple got up and went in the back. So I said, you know, you can go ahead and sit with your friends and whatnot. And I said, do you want to go? I asked her like four times. It wasn't in a row. I asked her like a few minutes apart. She gets annoyed with me because I'm asking her because she's not giving me an answer. All she's saying is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What is, I don't know. So I'm trying to I figure out. Then just say I'm thinking. Then say I'm I thinking said that about second it. second time. Yeah, but, but then you still kept asking yes, me. Yes, because you. Okay, so when you're talking to me, don't have an attitude because it's only it's only going to escalate the situation. It's only going to piss me off. Okay, I don't have an attitude with you. So stop with your attitude and be very cautious of your behavior right now, and forevermore. So all she said was, "I'm thinking about it." She's still thinking, so she didn't say anything else. So I asked her for the third time. And then I finally asked her for the fourth time. So she, she didn't get up to move next to her friend. And I explained to her, I said, the only reason why we're here is because of you. You know, I could have gone and watched a movie with my husband while they were in school, you know, at a much better movie theater yesterday. But because they had their plans as a mom, I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and um, appease my my child, okay? But um, so she got annoyed with me because she said I kept asking her questions. So am I not supposed to ask you any um questions at all? I got annoyed because no, you no, kept the tone, asking me. The tone. Let's change that. No, you are going to answer it. So why were you annoying? Because you kept asking me the same question over and over. Because you didn't give me an answer. I said I was thinking about it. Right. And then five minutes. You, okay. Forget it, Christina. I don't want you going to school in a bad mood. All I know is, let me just tell you one thing. I love you. I don't know where the animosity is coming from. I don't know where the attitude is coming from, okay? Um, but I just want the best for you. That's it. And I'm only trying to help you out. And I'm doing my my damn best to help you out. No um, let me be. I'm doing my very best to help you out. Do you hear me? Yes, Mom. All right. I'm not giving you attitude, so don't give me attitude. 
Mommy? Yes. Isn't it, What's up, darling? Isn't it crazy how, isn't it crazy a body part to move by itself? Yes. It's amazing. It's like God's controlling us and we're dolls. Mm -hmm. It's like we're dolls. God's the shepherd and we're the sheep. Mm -hmm. That's right, my love. Kristen, hmm? try doing this. What? Just do this. Just pull this finger out as fast as possible. You keep, no, not that one. It, it, that shape and yeah, pull out that thing. Love y'all. Kisses. Kisses, Christina. Hugs. No, thanks. Tell Daddy and Christopher that I said bye. All right, my shirt. Love you. Have a blessed day. Love y'all. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Tell honey. Tell Daddy and Christopher that I said bye. Okay, my shirt. I'm very emotional right now. Um... I don't want to cry. I love my kids very much. I do. I changed my life for my children. Just just to um, not have history repeat itself, you know? Um, I'm trying to put my feet in my daughter's shoes. And I'm trying to think about myself at her age you know there are so many things that I am doing differently that I didn't have you know um, growing up I really couldn't like hang out with my friends you know I really didn't go much places um, it was always you no know, cousins coming over. Um, maybe I think like friends would come over, and that was only in high school when I started driving and whatnot. But for my children to have as much freedom as they do now is nowhere compared to the way I grew up, you know, all the back talking and whatnot. I don't want to be the type of parent where. I am um, sheltering my kids a lot. I let them, you know, be them and do them and teaching them independence and to live without, you know, me and my guidance and, you know, without Craig's guidance as well. I mean, not as far as without our guidance, but where we're not hovering over them and hovering over everything they do, you know, we allow them to make their decisions. But I feel as though, like, I'm losing my kid because I don't know if I should say I'm losing. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the disconnection is. Am I not supposed to say anything to her? Am I not? supposed to show any type of any type of interest or care you know I I don't know what the issue is I really don't I really feel like withdrawing her from school so she can be under me you know um, and not pick up any other attitude or whatnot and it would just be she and myself and dad in the house, you know? Like, but I really feel like my kid is like slipping out of my hands. That's how I feel, you know? Am I not supposed to say anything at all? Am I not? Everything Christina wants, Christina gets. From clothes to shoes, hairstyles, like anything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not understanding. Like, Simply yesterday, I asked her qu four times, you know, I wasn't annoyed. I was just trying to figure out why she wasn't trying to sit with her friends. And the only reason, you know, she was, that was the only reason why we went to movies yesterday. I could have stayed in my bed, you know, I could have um, not even gone or 
I could have just sent her with her dad, but we, I made it into um, a family thing where we all went. I bought her ticket, and I was just trying to figure out. I, I really don't know. Maybe she's trying to figure out herself. Maybe I need to take a step back and not annoy her, you know? But then again, it's like if I do take a step back, I don't want her to feel like I'm not there. Or maybe just step back and let her do her thing. And then just maybe say, I'm here for you if you need any guidance. That's I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Yes. I think that's it. Because I think right now where she is, she's trying to figure out herself, her hormones are um, in the whack. She's probably about to enter, you know, um, the female adult stage with her cycle and whatnot. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take, you see, when I, when my children and myself start, start having like conflicts and whatnot, I take a step back and it's going to hurt my feelings by taking a step back because it's like, I still want to be the mom who, who they need, you know, well, who they need it. I still want to be the mom, you know. I was their number one, you know what I'm saying? I was like, which I think I still am, but they don't need me as much. She's probably just growing up too damn fast. And she's probably just... She probably just, she's a smart kid, man. She is. She's very independent. She does her own thing. But I don't want us to. <laughs> That's what it is. I just have to take a step back and not try to um, annoy her. See, Kristen is different. Kristen, oh. I wouldn't say Kristen need me, but Kristen wants me. Christina doesn't. Oh. Christina doesn't need me. Christina wants me sometimes. And it has always been like that. And she's just, she is a great person. I just want to be. That's what the problem is. I want to be around her all the time. I just want to make sure she's okay. <laughs> so it's like I'm always chasing after Christina. I'm, I'm always chasing for her love. I'm always giving her. I always go above and beyond for her. <sighs> but I think I'm doing way too much. I think I need to take a step back. And uh, Christina, I want you to, when you're watching this, if you feel, if Kristen, and then it becomes a conflict because if I start showing Kristen, if I step back from Christina and I'm showing Kristen love or showing Kristen more attention, not love, but showing Kristen more attention, then Christina will start getting upset with me. So it's like, which way do I turn, you know? So, um, I don't know. I just have to play my cards correctly. I just, it is an emotional roller coaster. Um, but I just need to pray. Um, and just pay attention. That's it. So, she's entering to that stage. I'm just going to, I think my, my key words will be, I'm here when you're ready for me. That's it. That's it. I'm here when you're ready for me. I'm always here for you, Shay.
I'm always here for you. And I love you very much, Christina. I do. I am here, and I will always be here when you're ready for me, and I will be waiting. I will wait. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. I'll wait for you. <laughs>